Hello everyone, Gliderman here. So today uh, in Verilog we're going to be working on inputs and outputs. So uh, in our tutorial module that we have here, uh, we're going to uh, do a very basic input and output. We're going to have an output to our LEDs on our board. Uh, if you have a DE0 like I do, or if you had a DE2 or whatever, um, we're going to have an output to an LED and we're going to have an input uh, from the button, or the buttons in general. So, um, in these parentheses here, uh, that's where you would define uh, the names of the things, or the names of your inputs. So, uh, these would match up with your pin assignments. And if you want to just check, you can go to Assignments, Assignment Editor. And uh, here you have the list of all of your uh, pins. What we're going to be using is this array of buttons here and then this array of LEDs here. Really, we're only going to be using one, but we're going to need to reference them all at once at first. So let's go back to our tutorial uh, module, and let's enter uh, for our outputs first, LEDG, and then a comma, and then I put in a space here. You don't necessarily need to. I just find it more readable, and then button. Now, these are technically arrays of the different things. So, as you saw here, this is an array of 0 through 9 on the LEDs. This is an array of buttons here, 0 through 2. There's three buttons in total over the board, on the board. And uh, so, we've got those punched in there. So, uh, to define these inputs and outputs, we're going to type output, and you're going to notice that's uh, lowercase there. And then we're going to define LEDG as an output. Next up, we're going to define as an input by just typing input button. Now there are multiple, I, I believe there are multiple ways of going about this, but technically, uh, in some cases, this may not be the entire array, or if you're referencing uh, just a portion, uh, you would want to use this. So we're going to put the square bracket in front of it there, and the square bracket in front of it here. So uh, we want to define from 9 and then a colon 0, and that'll define um, LEDG from 9 to 0, or from index 9 down to 0. And for the buttons, that's going to be uh, 2 colon 0, because there's only three buttons there. So now we've got those inputs and outputs. And there's also another one called the in-out, which is particularly useful if you have a GPIO pin. Um, However, there are extra things that you have to be careful of because if you, you can't read and write at the same time. You need to define your logic in such a way that that will never happen. Um, but that is doable. For right now, we're not going to be using in out. So we've just got our inputs and outputs defined there. And to give a quick demonstration, we're just going to be using an assign. And then this assigns uh, things, uh, let's just say this number one thing, to um, whatever is over here. So uh, keep in mind, this is a one-way uh, assign. Uh, if you, I assign whatever is over here, to here, this also does not pick up the value of this. Um, I had a project where uh, I had forgotten about that and, well, it didn't quite work. And I was debugging that for hours. And it was just that little simple statement. So I'm just passing that on to you as 
you know, watch out for it. So right now, I'm going to assign LEDG 0. Notice the square brackets are on uh, the right-hand side, not the left-hand side this time. Um, it has to do with how you're de defining arrays. Um, but in this case, we're accessing the 0 LED. Uh, which on my board looks like it's all the way on the right. So we're going to take that and we're going to assign that to button zero. Now, um, one of the things to keep in mind is these buttons are technically inverted. So uh, they're one when you aren't pressing them and they're zero when you are. So um, we're just going to put in a tilde here, which is a not symbol essentially. And let's just save that. So now we have a simple program that should take the two uh, the outputs of the LED and the input of the buttons, and then it'll assign uh, the zero LED to the zero button, and it's been inverted there. So in the next tutorial, we'll cover compiling and uh, programming the actual board. So stay tuned for that. Thank <music> you.